Our 8 News Now investigator sharing this video of an alleged hitman getting pulled over after what detectives believe was his fourth and final murder. We've obtained more videos from multiple other homicides. And 8 News Now investigator David Charns piecing together that case. Now we do want to warn you this story contains the sound of gunshots. It's a regular night inside this West Valley restaurant as surveillance cameras capture a cashier taking 39-year-old Marcus Larry's order. But within seconds, a gunman pulls open the door, shooting and killing Larry as his nephew looks on. The cashier survived, telling the grand jury she collapsed and then spent five weeks in the hospital. Investigators would eventually link the murder to 41-year-old Michael Coleman. His associates defrauded the government of numerous Paycheck Protection Program loans, better known as PPP loans. Alleging Coleman committed at least four murders as part of a government loan scam involving tens of millions of dollars. Minutes after the murder inside the restaurant, video from the nearby Red Rock Resort captures a man police say is Coleman ditching a van and walking away. The person wearing the same clothes as the shooter and police say DNA on the van's door matched Coleman's. Video from a year later shows a car police say is Coleman's parking near the home of William Hill Jr. Another camera then captures a hooded man, police say is Coleman, walking down the sidewalk. The video freezes, but the device records the sound of gunshots and people screaming. In another murder, police say Coleman and an accomplice took these photos of their victim before they shot and killed 49-year-old Benjamin McCarty in broad daylight in a West Valley parking lot. Police say this video shows a man they say is Coleman running away after that shooting. Video the eight News Now investigators obtained from what police say was Coleman's final murder shows that same red sedan with a missing taillight pulling up to this house as a Jeep pulls up in a driveway. The driver who police say is Coleman, then ambushes the other driver, shooting and killing her. Hello. Later that same day, an Arizona trooper stopped Coleman on the 93 outside Kingman. Detectives say that stop would play a crucial role in their work with the identical car captured in these videos and the body cam linking it all back to Michael Coleman. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. And right now, Michael Coleman is in jail. Judges have denied setting his bail. He's set to go on trial in two separate cases involving all four homicides. That first trial is scheduled to begin next month. And Coleman has declined our interview request to hear his side of the story.